experiment now is the blowing your bubble and making some accurate measurements. So you're going to get each one of your solutions and you're going to try and blow bubbles with them. This will take a little bit of patience and a few practice goes before you really get this right. And don't get frustrated. Some of the weaker solutions sometimes don't produce very good bubbles. So here's the solution that I've got here. Um, it's 14%. And what I've done is I've just got a straw full of it and I've just dropped it on the table. Okay. Then what we've got to do is you do have to have a little bit of a practice. What you're going to do then is you're going to blow across and down and try and do it for the same amount of time. I'm going to try and do it for the count of 10. I'm going to be doing that in my head because I can't count and blow. That's a beauty. Now, I'm going to choose the biggest and the best and we will redo it. To measure the height, I need to come on the side here, make sure that I'm high level, high level and I can now measure the height of my bubble. The next thing that I'm going to do is measure the diameter and because I know that went the same side and you can see where that is, I'll measure the diameter of where that bubble was and I can see how wide it was. 